Residents in southern Tasmania are demanding to know why cloud seeding was conducted over the Derwent River catchment the day before the worst floods in 40 years. Cloud seeding is a technique used to increase rain. Hydro Tasmania has confirmed it flew a cloud seeding flight despite the weather warnings. Farmers believe the technique could have made the flooding worse. The Premier says a formal inquiry will be To start the new month, claims tonight international vapour trails laid by international organisations could be filling central west skies with dangerous chemicals. Opponents of these mysterious chemtrails, which have been appearing over Dubbo and other central west centres, argue science is being perverted to change local weather patterns and keep Australia in drought. These weirdly shaped vapour trails above Dubbo make curious patterns, but concerns tonight it could signal a systematic poisoning of the skies above western New South Wales. Jet planes often leave contrails, but these vapour trails aren't on any recognised flight paths, and they run closely parallel and cross over in gigantic X shapes, forming giant grid patterns across the sky. And it's not just Dubbo, these are happening worldwide. There's a growing belief the chemtrails, as they're known, are part of a secret international strategy to inject fine particles into the upper atmosphere to reflect sunlight back into space and prevent global warming. This is a disgrace. To ensure stability in its agriculture sector, China is not leaving things to Mother Nature. The Chinese government is planning to employ upgraded weather control systems in Heilongjiang, Jilin and Liaoning, the three provinces responsible for 54% of the nation's rice production. The project, which will continue until June, involves creating artificial rain using cloud seeding, special aircraft, rockets and much more. China has been tinkering with the idea for years. But how controllable can the weather be?